Yo, what's up guys? Last week we designed the new character, Genyu, and this week we put him in the game. Here he is chilling with us at the tutorial level, and once you get started, he literally walks you through your first set of kills. That big old backpack he's wearing is going to contain your collection of items that you can use throughout the game, so you can return to Genyu at any time during the level and swap your current item for another if you'd like. And at the end of each level, he will give your performance a rating out of 10, along with some feedback to help improve your style and skill as a fighter. Unless you got a perfect 10, of course, in which case maybe he'll just give you a pat on the back. And I also added a little hint on how to restart a level whenever you get killed. Next up, our lead artist Amanda is working on some proper icons to replace the placeholder icons that I had for the HUD, like the energy bar and your special ability and whatnot. Meanwhile, I'm starting to look at how we're going to do the menus and what kind of style and fonts we want to use for that, as well as for how we're going to be doing transitions between the levels. I'm also going to be designing a level that has a bar in it that you and Genyu will frequently return to in between levels, where a lot of the dialogue will take place, as well as item upgrades that you select and things like that. And I'm going to start putting in some placeholder music to really nail down the exact feeling I want in every scene and moment so that our musician Alex can run with it. Now as I mentioned in last week's video, I am aiming for a Steam store page and demo release by the end of this summer, September 1st, and to have the game finished sometime around March or April 2025. And although I have already been working at a godlike speed, it's not enough. As you may recall, in another previous video, I had to go Super Saiyan in order to ensure that I could complete the project on time. Uh, uh, uh. What? That's impossible. How does he have so much power? The Super Saiyan game developer was just a legend. Nobody's seen one for a thousand years. Are the legends true? Is Solidio the first Super Saiyan game developer in a thousand years? Find out on the next exciting episode of the Weekly Update. And it's looking like I'm gonna have to go beyond that to SSJ3, which in practice means hiring more artists to increase the pace of production. Amanda Ray will still remain as our lead artist, of course, but we're gonna need some help if we wanna get it all done on time. So, I have sent out an art test to a variety of qualified candidates, and hopefully, in one or two weeks from now, our team will be bigger and stronger, and the pace of production will reach a whole new level. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you want regular updates on the game, and I'll see you here again next week. Peace.